Hi, Pisces. I love you guys. Um, I put Andy up here and put Radian back so you guys can see Andy. I noticed in the comments, you guys, a lot of you said, do you remember these from your childhood? And I forget where I got these from. I think I got them at a yard sale. Okay, hold on, Pisces. I'm going to cleanse the energy here. I want to make sure we have nice, clear energy to do your reading with. There we go. Get the sage going. Okay. So. All right, Pisces. Let's find out what's going on. What's happening with Pisces spirits? We have... The Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. This is usually someone taking action. We have Temperance here, so you could be dealing with a Sagittarius and the Two of Wands. I'm seeing you getting some type of an offer here, Pisces. Someone's, someone's going to be offering you with this being a the Knight of Cups, an emotional offer, some type of an emotional offer, and I'm seeing you here standing at a crossroads, taking a taking a pause, um, deciding which direction you want to go in. What's happening with Pisces? There you are, Pisces, the hangman. Could actually be you trying to offering your love to someone else I don't know we'll clarify and we'll find out but I'm seeing you here in this energy of the wounded warrior you're tired we have the moon there's something that you're not seeing Pisces you could be dealing with a cancer but something's there's some sadness here while you're standing here at a crossroads, we have the Three of Cups. So I'm seeing you celebrating something, Pisces. You're having an epiphany moment, a celebration, dropping a heavy burden. And then we have the Seven of Swords. I feel like you're picking up what you can and moving on in this reading. You're standing at a crossroads. You're deciding to drop a burden. Five of cups on the bottom of the deck. There's a sense of sadness here. Of hope. Hope for messages from someone where there was a very painful ending. Let's clarify this Knight of Cups up here. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Okay, so we have the Hermit. You could be dealing with a Virgo. The Two of Swords. And the Empress. You could be dealing with a Taurus. it's like you're down here on the bottom of the deck Pisces and the energy of the queen of wands so you're very beautiful 
or handsome, male or female, but you're in this very fiery, beautiful energy. But there's something here that's that you're kind of like, should I or shouldn't I? Trying to make a decision. There's a ship coming in. There's something coming in here behind you. But the skies are dark. Someone's showing up very slowly with the Knight of Pentacles. There's someone here in your energy that... I feel like this person is in hermit mode. Like there's little to no communication with this person. They're starting to come to an understanding. Because this is someone who's been blindfolded. Someone who's been blindfolded, closed off. about you. You're the empress. This person knows you're the empress, male or female. They're very attracted to you. And I feel like you're you're offering them your love, but they're closed off and in hermit mode. Why is temperance here? Okay, so we have Taurus energy again with the Hierophant. The Five of Swords. And the Six of Wands. There could be someone here that's drinking a lot. Pisces, your intuition's telling you something's getting ready to change. Something's going to start moving very quickly. You could be dealing with a Leo here. But your intuition is right there telling you something's getting ready to change. And it's a wish fulfillment. Something you've been wishing for. There's someone here in your energy that you, you were in some type of a committed relationship with. This person still holds up a sword. They still show up as the five of swords. With temperance here, I feel like this person wants a reconciliation with you, but they're they're in their ego. So I'm seeing you, you're I'm seeing you here becoming very successful, Pisces, in the energy of the Six of Wands. Success, victory is here for you. I'm seeing you standing up for yourself. You're being patient. Why is the Two of Wands here? But you're still, you're standing at a crossroads. Which direction do I go? Do I go back or do I go forward? And I'm seeing you making a decision to move forward. You're working on your money. You're, you're focused on something here that you're working on. I feel like it's your money with pentacles showing up. Your stability with the three of pentacles. A lot of focus on work is the direction that you're taking. And I'm seeing you moving ahead very quickly. Taking control, making a decision, and moving ahead very quickly. I feel like you're... While you're at this crossroads, you've taken control and you've you've chosen your path. You're moving forward, looking at things differently now, seeing the big picture. Why is the hangman here? Because you're tired, you're showing up here as the wounded warrior. Okay, so we have the Page of Cups. The Seven of Wands. And the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like you're opening up your own business, Pisces. 
with the king of pentacles on the bottom of the deck i'm seeing you very stable here opening up your own business and it's very exciting for you you don't have to be opening up your own business but there's a huge opportunity here that you're protecting that you're guarding and we have the four of wands so this is 11 11 you're on the right path I'm seeing you here guarded up. I think I saw this for you yesterday too, but I can't remember. I'm seeing you here very guarded up, Pisces. You're working on a huge opportunity that's coming into your life. There's a new start. Why is the Nine of Wands here? The Ace of Wands, the Four of Wands, and the High Priestess. There's someone here at the bottom of the deck that you're not seeing. This could be an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be, but they see you as their happiness. But they're just looking, they're just on the outside looking in. This is someone closed off in hermit mode. They want this is someone that you could have been married to, shared a home with. They want this new passionate beginning with you, Pisces. But I feel like in the energy of the nine of wands, you're just about ready to give up on this. You're using your intuition. Your intuition's guiding you to move towards this opportunity, this new beginning. And so I'm seeing you coming out of sadness, coming out of your emotions. The moon can be sadness out of the dark. And you're coming out of the water now. There's a path in front of you that you need to cross. The advice of the moon card is to, to go into the unknown, to start down this new path. Why is the moon here? There's an exciting new start for you, Pisces. There's something that you, something or someone that you've been holding on to. This person right here who shows up as the page of wands there's sadness around this person. There's darkness. You don't know what's going on. But yet, you've been holding on too tightly. I'm seeing this changing. The Wheel of Fortune is here. Something's, something's going to change. And then we have the Three of Cups. This is... The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. I, I'm feeling like... um. For some of you, you could be having to really hold on to your money, but the Wheel of Fortune's turning in your favor. For others, this this is this person. Why is the Three of Cups here? Okay. The Six of Pentacles. The Tower. See, something's changing, and you don't have much control over it, Pisces. The tower is bringing something down. It's not built on a stable foundation. And there is sadness here. You could be dealing with a Leo. But the tower's here. Something's shocking. The devil is here, so you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Someone who betrayed you was giving to two people. There's no reconciliation here. This can be a reconciliation, a great celebration. I'm seeing instead a painful ending. 
<clears throat> with the devil this is someone that you could have felt attached to but the wheel of fortune is turning you're losing this energy for this person you're not really feeling attached to this person i'm seeing you more focused on your money your stability you're giving to a lot of people dropping this burden this is someone you've been feeling attached to and it's just a burden on your back you want to you want to release this energy why is the ten of wands here we have the queen of pentacles the five of cups and the six of cups Seeing you fighting an inner battle here, Pisces. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but it doesn't have to be. But there's a conflict with this person that you fight an inner battle about. This is someone that could have put you in a third-party situation. But I'm seeing you here making a choice to work on you. You're in this Nine of Pentacles energy. You could be dealing with a Gemini here with the lovers showing up. But there's a choice. And you're looking beautiful, handsome. You're looking great. Working on your money. Feeling very stable here. A lot of stability with the Queen of Pentacles. That allows you to drop a heavy burden that you've been carrying around for a very long time. This could be years you've been carrying around a burden that, you, that you're ready to drop now. But I'm seeing you here. The Ten of Wands is someone who's still determined to make it up to the top of a hill with these wands on their back. So you're just about ready to drop something that you've been feeling. Something or someone... An ending that was painful. You're ready to drop this burden very soon. And I see you here feeling, you know, there is some sadness here with the Five of Cups. And there's memories of the past. But I feel like these memories are kind of, if we remember things over and over and over again we remember them different each time and so your memory could be a little bit fogged as to what actually was and then we have the seven of swords picking up what you can moving on why is the seven of swords here You are just a complete master at what you do, Pisces, and you do it great on your own. You're the magician. You do something great on your own. And there, there's something here about, I'm seeing someone here that's showing, that's, I'm seeing this person sending you a message. They're coming out of the cold. This is someone who's left you feeling out in the cold. They appear to you to be the seven of swords. Someone lying, cheating, or stealing. There's a conflict with this person. It's like king against king. This king of wands goes, you know, the king of wands is a different energy than the king of pentacles. And I feel like you you are in the energy of the king of pentacles. This person is in the 
energy of the King of Wands, which I'm seeing this person as being a player with the Seven of Swords here. And so that this is creating a conflict with the Five of Wands. Let's find out. Let's find out what the unknown is. Let's take a look into the unknown. See if anything shows up of significance. Because I'm seeing you coming out of sadness coming out of this water and there's a path in front of you that you're a new path in front of you this could either be representing something that you're not seeing because it's dark Why is the moon here healing? It's time to heal, Pisces. That's why we have the moon. We have the four of swords. I'm seeing you putting your swords up on the wall, not wanting to fight anymore and healing and coming out of this sadness, out of this water of emotion because you're looking at everything that you've done. You put a lot of love, time, effort, energy into something that has been leaving you in this energy of sadness and you're realizing that there was no growth here and it's time to heal. And so you're going towards a wish fulfillment. I'm seeing a literal wish fulfillment here coming in for you, Pisces. When you pick up what you can and move on. The star is on the bottom of the deck. It's a wish fulfillment. It's an exciting new beginning for you. A brand new beginning that's very exciting. And there's a lot of growth here. There's like leaves growing off of this branch. But you're kind of feeling... It's like sometimes we need to feel this feeling of feeling vulnerable to get to a wish fulfillment. Which is where I'm seeing you at with the moon too. Okay, so... That was kind of a deep reading tonight, Pisces. Um, seeing you leaving someone behind let's see what this person wants to say to you if you're dealing with another Pisces or this could just be your thoughts this is Pisces energy I don't trust you Cancer, I never used to look at you in that way. Scorpio, I remember every detail of that day, and you are not part of my plan. Okay, Aries, just being near you is intoxicating. Leo, I knew exactly what I was doing. Sagittarius, I don't know what to say. Aquarius, it's time for me to heal now. Libra, I fantasize about you. Gemini, I was careless with you. 
Taurus. You were the best thing in my life. Virgo. I've been struggling. And Capricorn. I know I messed everything up. I know I messed up everything. And for everyone on the bottom of the deck, I hope that you can forgive me one day. Um, let me get your Moonology cards, Pisces, for advice. What does Pisces need to know, spirits? Take time to breathe out. Don't let pride get in your way. Luck is on your side. Your commitment is being tested. Work through your fears. And the energy is gaining momentum. And on the bottom of the deck, your hard work is paying off. Okay, Pisces. So, um, actually, before I let you go, let me just pull out an angel answer card. Or, I don't think these are answer cards. These are angel cards. See what the energy is here. What does Pisces need to know, spirits? We have let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. And wedding. This situation involves marriage. Trust, this situation is calling for you to have faith. And on the bottom of the deck, finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Okay, Pisces, so these are the messages spirits have for you. I hope they help. Thank you so much for being here with me, Pisces. I send you lots of love and light. Namaste.